I don't need God. Only weak people need to believe in God. It's like a crutch. I'm glad they found something that makes themselves feel better, but not all of us need something like that. I'm a plenty good person on my own. I'm enough without God. Have you ever heard somebody say something like this before? I know I have. In conversations with atheists, it's common for them to claim that they're good enough without God, that they don't need to believe in God to be moral people, and that they're enough without him. While there are many different directions I could come at this claim, I want to begin with what our standard of good is. If you're claiming, oh, I'm good enough without God, well, what is that standard of good? You see, each one of us has constructed a standard by which we judge what is right and what is not. And it makes perfect sense that most of us would construct a standard that we personally fulfill. We wouldn't have a standard that we fall short of, at least not most of us would do that, because we always judge ourselves based on the person that we deem to be worse than us, the murderer, the thief, the, the person next door. No, we're better than that. We're more morally righteous than them. We are good without God according to our own subjective standard of goodness, but ultimately that that doesn't really hold any weight. You see, I talk about this a lot, but it's important to realize the Bible presents us with an objective standard of right and wrong based on God's character. A clear example of this standard is the Ten Commandments, and if you just take a quick look at them, you see that you fall short. At least I know I fall short right away. Have you ever lied? Yes. Have you ever looked with lust? Yes. Have you ever coveted? Yes. When we begin to judge ourselves against God's objective standard of right and wrong based on his character, we fall infinitely short. In James, it says that God gives his law to the proud, but offers his grace to the humble. Our pride tells us that we are good enough without God, and God, in turn, points us to his law to humble us. Once the law has done its work in humbling us before God, he provides us with grace through the work of Jesus, life, death, and resurrection on our behalf. We are saved by grace through faith, not of our own doing. Through that, Jesus imputes his righteousness to us. That doesn't mean we never fail or sin, but it does mean that when God looks at us, he sees Jesus' righteousness, and we are absolved of any guilt, shame, or judgment. We are made new creations in Christ, which God empowers us through his power and his presence to fulfill his purpose for our lives. I want to offer you a caution though. Watch out for the evil one's tactics. He is trying to get us to believe that we are enough without Christ and not enough with him. You see, it's not just the atheist who needs to battle with their pride and feeling like they're a good person on their own or they're enough without God. We even as believers can get in the mindset of doing things on our own or thinking that we are enough without God. And it's a shame too because God has provided us with everything that we need to fulfill his calling for our our lives. Remember that when you fall into the mindset of trying to live this life on your own or that you're enough without Christ, remember that only through him we are made whole. I want to encourage you once again to submit yourself to Christ. Jesus is the one that makes us whole. He is the one that makes us enough in him. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got something from it, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button because I'm putting out new videos every single day. And the only reason I can do that is because of the wonderful people on Patreon supporting my ministry ministry on a monthly basis. If you want to be one of those people and help support my mission of helping people follow Jesus daily, you can head on over to the link in my description, patreon.com slash daily underscore disciple to give monthly to this mission. Thank you so much for watching guys, and I will see you next time. God bless.